Welcome back to the let's play of Felix Ride. Hey, it's a 30. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> this is the defendant lobby, alright? But there's no defendant. I've been trying to reach Lana all morning. Where could she be? And where's Emma? For that matter, it almost seems as if something's been happening behind the scenes. Edgeworth! Knowing you, you've already figured it out. Who the owner of the 777777 ID number is? Well, I have a pretty strong hunch. Looks like I'm not the only one who's figured it out. You know, the only release on this trial that we reached a yesterday is because there was still room for doubt when this ID record. If that number does belong to whom you suspect, and no doubt will remain. After all, he hasn't been officially charged with anything. True, not yet. In any event, once all doubt has been removed from that list, I can call for a ruling. On the defendant, five minutes after the trial starts, Lena would be found guilty. But she didn't do it! I figured it says much. That's why I came here, to hear what you have to say. This is the first time you've ever done something like this. Lana's hiding something, and the only way we'll ever know the truth is to draw it out of her. The truth. Everything goes back to the SL9 incident. Don't be stupid. Today is the last day of the trial. We don't have time to ruin this about the past. That depends on you. If she's found guilty, you'll lose your only chance to find out what really happened. I'll think about it. See you in court, right? This is it. If I'm ever going to find out what Chinkia does on her, it's now. And there we go. The last day of the trial begins. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The position is ready, Your Honor. Normally, this is one position for far from spelling statement. But before that, the police chief has a proposal to make. Chief Gant. Morning, folks! How's everyone doing? Hey, Haji! Been back to the pool yet? No, I've been drawing enough as it is in my work. Oh, that's a good one! Don't think I can top that! If you don't mind me asking, Chief, ask you what is this proposal of yours? Lana, that is to say, the defendant. I asked me if she could make. I asked me if she could speak directly to the court. She wants to do what? Having heard what she intends to say, I feel she should be contrary to her request. In the end, it will save everyone a lot of time and trouble. What's this all about, defendant? I'd just like to make one simple request, and I'll be finished. Well then, what's your request? Your Honor, I'd like to put an immediate end to this trial. Huh? I confess to all charges against me. On February 21 of this year, I murdered the Mr. Bruce Goodman. In the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. No, Lana! You can't! Your Honor, the defendant's claim does not change the defense plea! In that case, Mr. Wright, I no longer require your services. But Lana! Your Honor, I eBay forfeit my right to an attorney. The position may lack directive evidence against me. But it has sufficiently proven its case through testimony and circumstantial evidence. I would like you to render your verdict now, if you please. Well, the defendant certainly has the right to self representation. A request is legally valid, although this is an unprecedented situation. Indeed, it appears there's no further need to consider this trial, even if Mr. Wright may feel otherwise. This can be happening. It appears the time for the verdict has arrived. This could find the defendant. Objection. 
One moment, your honor. Mr. Edgeworth? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. The precision is yet improved if you are guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. And you're already in the stage, what's that to be premature? Come now, Worthy. I understand this is a tricky time for you. But why don't you just be a good little boy and keep your mouth shut, hmm? Hmm. I don't really care for your tone, Chief Gant. What? Creating another reputation to up your past mistakes. Sorry, but I'm no longer the name that boy you would let me be. With a sudden confession from the defendant. It's obvious to me some kind of deal was struck behind the scenes. Some kind of deal? Hmm? Not everyone pretty as you do, Worthy. Hmm. I do so. You heard her. The precision would like to change its fitness. Who? Oh, to who? As for witness, the precision would like to call Miss Emma Sky. I'm because the court hears her testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, I have innocently my right to self-representation. I don't think we need to continue. I don't care what you think, Miss Sky. The exposure of truth sometimes results in tragedy. However, no matter how tragic the truth may be, it would be an even greater tragedy to avert one's eyes from the truth. The court shall grant the position's request. That's what you with you, right, Chief Gant? Worthy, you'll live to regret this. Mark my words. Miss Emma Sky, please take the stand. Looks like Edgeworth has decided to take the horse by the reins. Now then, witness, please state your name in the commission. Um, my name is Emma. Emma Sky. My occupation, I'm not a little sister and I want to be a certificate with teacher. Two years ago, you were to the serial killer Joe Dark of the Joe Dark Killings. Is this correct? Yes, I'm trying my hardest to forget about that though. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to recall those events one more time. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember the story of the murder of Steve Goodman. It's an incident that was resolved two years ago already, I'll definitely run event. Yes, it was the dirty he's. Well, well, okay then. Are you sure you give it fast? Now, please testify about what happened to you two years ago. The trip to yesteryear has finally begun. It's bound to lead to the truth behind this trial. Two years ago. I was waiting in my sister's office that day. A man came running in and took me on stage. Neil Marshall rescued me, but I'll never forget what I saw at that instant. The man raised up his knife and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. It's a good thing you weren't harmed. I passed out. I don't remember much. That's understandable. However, please tell me, Mr. Edgeworth, what does this testimony have to do with the Steve Goodman's murder? That his son become my friend, Your Honor. You've got to admire him for his courage, considering he has no evidence. For a while, the defense may begin his course case ammunition. Well, I'm sorry, Emma, but I'm gonna have to pressure you. Two years ago, the defendant was the detective in the police department, correct? Yes, she was second in command under Chief Gant. My sister, she was the best detective ever. Yes, I remember. Chief Detective Gant and this guy used to be quite a pair. I believe we shared the same office. That's right. And that always sat on my sister's desk. And dream about playing the door again. I wanted to play it that day too. The police department and the prosecutor's office had a ceremony that day. 
Lana promised to take me to her dinner after she finishes her work. A man? Yes, Joe Dart. He was a, a serial killer. Joe Dart was brought in for questioning on the day of that ceremony. We were desperate to get anything on him that would lead to an arrest. What is all his chance? He fled the room, right? Upon playing the room, Doc proceeded to take the elevator. He must have been in a panic because the elevator was going up. They were in the sky in Gun's office. There was a lot of noise coming from outside, so I opened up the door to have a look. That's when I saw him. What was Prosecutor doing there? That day, there were two people present during the discussion. They took them on again and Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Game was there too? Neil Marshall had just received the King of Prosecutors Award. Young and dedicated, he went straight to the questioning room after his ceremony. I assume that would also be why he has, was the first one after dark. When that ran me, I, I thought I was as good as dead. And that's when Prosecutor Marshall came running in. I, I don't really remember what happened then, but... Can you tell us about that? Mr. Marshall jumped on dark. Just then, the lights went out. The lights? It was just about this time of year. There was a terrible storm going on and lightning struck nearby. So the LXC went out. Wait a minute. If it was pitch dark in that room, you should not be able to see anything, right? Right, but just when lightning flashed again outside, that sudden flash left an unforgettable image of the scene in my mind. I see. I told the detective about what I saw then. The detective? Yes, the detective Goodman. He was in charge of the case. The detective Bruce Goodman. The victim. Oh, is it more? So you spoke with the detective Goodman about this, two years ago? Yes, that was so scary about his trial. And you told the detective Goodman about what you saw? Yes, but at the time, the word just wouldn't come out. That's why I had to put a picture. A picture? Yes, I think she mentioned that before. What, Mr. Wright? Have you heard enough? This picture the witness drew. I believe it has a very important meaning. But it is a evidence I was given two years ago that the content of picture. Witness, would you mind if we end up this statement to give testimony? Yes, you honor. I drew a picture of that scene on, but it seems to have been last. Hold on, hold on. You drew a picture of the scene you witnessed, right? Yes, I wanted to do everything I could to help the investigation. I can still see it now, whenever I close my eyes. That's right. I took over the case after Prosecutor Marshall died, yet I never received any picture. But the witness is mistaken. But I did draw it, I swear. I'm not just imagining it. This picture that's about Rue. That reminds me. I guess I should take the evidence again. Well, anyway, let's continue. This scene that I'm said and imagine your mind. Can you please describe it to us? The man. Raise up his knife. But, 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 but. I draw a picture. So you want me to check the evidence? What could she have drawn a picture on? Usually, you draw pictures on paper. Obviously, that paper cannot be the one. Neither can that one. He said it was nowhere in the files or in the evidence. I... no. That's all I can see here. Oh! I can actually turn it around. Look at that! A picture is drawn on the back of the evidence list and magic marker. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Objection. Mr. Edgeworth. This little girl put all her heart into drawing that picture. And 
and yet you still insist on denying, in denying its existence? Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. All I'm saying is that there's a procedure for that case. I always intended such a picture. That may well be. But that doesn't make any sense. Behold! This is the evidence list for this incident. Please turn it over, you order. Turn it over! Turn it... Ah! What's this? Yes, what is that? Hey! That's it! That's the picture I drew! Indeed! Two men appear to be wrestling there! Objection. What's the meaning of this? What are you doing with that list? Me? Only your procedure in charge should have access to that list. Huh? This list? Very... Very different from each other! What? It would appear, Mr. Edgeworth, that the evidence list you were handed two years ago was incomplete. These two lists fit together to form wrong. You can see the marks here where they were torn apart from each other. So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, it's quite obvious what happened. Two years ago, only half of the evidence in that case ever reached you. What? What? The truth would have been drawn on the back of this list. There was not that list of gunmen in the kitchen room. Wait a minute. If this list was turned off, then that means. Your Honor! Are you alright, Mr. Wright? Your heart is burning from your head! If the evidence list was turned off, then there may be more to the drawing in the back of Mr. Edward's list. Yes, that's quite conceivable, Mr. Edgeworth. It's possible. Let's see. <laughs> Is something wrong? Do you even have to ask? Sorry, Your Honor. There is something wrong at the back of my list. This is that thing. <laughs> the Blue Badger? That thing! That thing that was dancing in the evidence room! Apparently, the head of criminal affairs used this for his blueprint. I guess it was out of scrap paper. For all, witness! Will you please testify about this picture you drew two years ago? Huh? Oh, y yes, you heard her. What's wrong with heaven? She seemed to be thinking about something when she saw the picture. Emma's picture. This is the picture I drew two years ago. The flash of lightning was so bright, all I could see were shadows. After that, I must have fainted. This picture shows exactly what I saw that instant. Flash of lightning could burn such an image on your mind. Thanks to that, though, she was able to show us exactly what she saw. Well, I don't see any contradictions here. This clearly shows draw dark about the murder of Rescue Marshall. The defense may now begin its course examination. Did you draw this picture right after the incident? Um, I think it read two or three days later. At first I was in such a state of shock that I couldn't do anything. During that time the detective team was very organized. The detective goodman was placed in charge under the direction of Damon Gannett in the sky. Two or three days later, the memory should have the memory should still have been fresh on the mind. Excuse me, witness. But can you please tell us why this picture is painted a hard black? So at the time you didn't even know it was Mr. Marshall who had to come to your rescue. No, I couldn't see him clearly. The lightning was so bright, and I was knocked to the floor. 
You're next to the floor. Dark had a tight grip on me, but when Marshall dropped on him, I was knocked away. I turned around, and that's when the lightnings flashed. Poor Emma, I don't see how she was at hers. What happened after the lightning flashed? You mean, you didn't see the actual murder take place? No, I I'm sorry. Objection! The flash of lightning only drove off the darkness for a split second. Not only that, but it's drove off the situation doesn't really cause a witness to faint. Do you really need to torture this girl any further? What? Hey, another bad guy here. Anyway, this picture... Why is the knife not a knife? I mean, it's it's a freaking rectangle, as if it was broken. Holy. Sorry for asking too many times, but are you sure you do exactly what you saw? Of course, this is the exact scene. It wasn't influenced in any way from your talk to the detectives. Are you insinuating with some having pretty tethered memory, Mr. Wright? No, no, of course not. I'd better watch out or you might find some way to cut my salary. I read this picture before I heard anything from the detectives, so I don't think anyone certainly would have influenced me. Mr. Wright, is there something that's bothering you about this picture? Huh? Oh, well... That's strange. She claims this is exactly the scene that was imprinted in her mind. And yet, there's clearly a contradiction here. I think I saw it. The knife is broken, but... I hope I'm right. I am not. There we go. I thought it was the knife. What else do I have in my evidence? I never checked that. I don't know. What if I present the picture itself? Uh, come on! How do I do this? Oh, I'm gonna need a fucking walkthrough because I'm gonna just hurt myself. Or anything to this, and why is the one two not showing me what item to use? That's stupid. If you're going to make a world two, at least tell us what to do. Are you kidding me? My first idea was the right one. I hate to be a bearer of bad news, but this picture the witness through contains a blatant, a blatant contradiction. 
What? B but I still remember it just like it was yesterday. That's right. Perhaps it would be faster if you simply put it out. It's a contradiction for us. What part of this picture? Contradicts the autopsy report. Well, if my first idea was right about the autopsy report, I guess my first idea is right on this. The contradiction, of course, lies here. Take a look at the knife the man is holding. If you look closely, you can see its teeth is broken. In fact, you don't even have to look closely to see that. But Mr. Wright, look at the evidence. See the murder weapon? His teeth is broken too. If I recall, the teeth of the knife was found broken off into the victim's body. It was a conclusive piece of evidence that proved Joe Dark was the murderer. I'm afraid it's not so simple, Emma. Uh, why could you please be see a problem? It's obvious, really. The victim suffered a single stab wound to the back. If the victim was only stabbed once, then the murder weapon should not yet be broken. Ah! Oh, what the meaning of this? Bro, the knife was broken beforehand. Sorry, but I'm afraid that's not possible. The tip of the knife was found inside the victim's body. If it was broken beforehand, it couldn't possibly wind up there. That's right, but what does this mean? The tip of the knife was undeniably discovered within the victim's body. The only possible explanation is the witness memory is mistaken. That's why I, that's why I asked her so many times if she was sure to remember it correctly. I believe you were an eye at the time, but she was sure she remembered correctly. But, there's no other way to explain this inconsistency. Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. There is another explanation. Have you forgotten already? About the little something called falsified evidence? You're, the, you're trading on teen highs, right? All I'm saying is that this broken knife might be the piece of evidence that was falsified. You can't deny the possibility. No. Ah! Order! 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 Are you saying the investigation really was corrupted? Your Honor, please allow me to once again go over the event that took place at the day of the murder. The police department and the prosecutor's office were ordering a similarity that day. After receiving the King of Prosecutors Award at the ceremony, Liam Bashar questioned Joe Dark along with Damon Gant. During his questioning, Joe Dark fled the room. Prosecutor Marshall chased after him and was killed by Dark. It is my belief that somewhere in this story, there is a lie. Hmm. I... I'm not lying. The man only was holding a broken knife. If it is true, but there's no other way around it. This could not have been the virtual murder weapon. There must have been another broken knife. What are the chances of there being two broken knives? Another broken knife beside Joe Dark. Could there have been one? There he is. If the witness is this adamant about the accuracy of what she saw, it can't just be explained away by a simple exceptional error. Is it right? In that instant, Emma really did see a broken knife. I assume then, that you have some information about this other broken knife. If so, please feel free to enlighten us. The murder weapon was already broken prior to the murder. There's only one way. Take a look at this. Here's the real murder weapon. I show the picture here with the, you know, um, I'm so unsure of myself, and 
I'm running on thin ice with only three chances left. The answer lies in the past. Two years in the past. Right here inside this picture. This is a picture of the ceremony at the hour. Oh, wow. This is a picture of the ceremony of words. Aha! What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? It's the broken murder weapon. That is the hour, Prosecutor Marshall is holding. That a broken knife. As we earlier concluded, knife in the picture was not Joe Dog's knife. That being the case, the knife witness saw was an unlikelihood this award. Order, order, order! Neil Marshall, Neil Marshall was awarded King of Procedures that day. As an award, he was given this broken shield and a broken knife. When he chased after Joe Dark, he pulled out this knife. Being a prosecutor, he did not carry a pistol. This broken knife was the only weapon he had in this dangerous situation. But that, that can be. Oh, and why not, Mr. Edgeworth? Because of the King of Prosecutor's Award. Because of the King of Prosecutor's Award knife was the murder weapon. But the murderer and the victim would be reversed. What do you mean? I mean... This man is in a knife. Would have been Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Oh. Oh! But Prosecutor was the one who actually died. That's true. What's going on here? It seems Mr. Wright has been a bit too eager to jump to conclusions. Wait, I, I remember now. I remember everything. Witness! Mr. Edgeworth! What is it? Could you show me your evidence list again, please? His list? The one with that picture script on the back? I knew it! This picture... I don't want to draw it! What? You drew that? That's right! The list wasn't torn half the time I drew this picture! All this time I've been trying so hard to forget! I must have locked this part away deep inside me! it would be best if we added this to the witness testimony. Will you please tell us what you've recalled, Miss Sky? Yes, your honor. I will tell you next time on the continuation of Let's Play Phoenix Wright, his attorney, episode 5. Rise from the ashes as we continue this trial and the testimony of Emma Sky. Why do I keep on doing that voice? <laughs>